Hi, everyone. Welcome to Module 3. I'm Syl, your instructor for this week. I'll be spending today discussing how AI and the AI industry is configured. There are a few useful things to keep in mind when surveying AI products available on the market. First, you can divide AI companies into two camps those who train language models, and those who resell them. There are very few companies producing significantly capable language models today. Those are mostly big tech, like Google and Meta, and smaller AI-dedicated companies like OpenAI, Anthropic, and Cohere. Resellers are the rest. Generally, they repackage big tech and AI-dedicated companies' models and put on a premium. It's easy to identify a reseller. Just take a look at the company. Has it published machine learning or AI-related papers? Does it employ researchers? AI is an active area of research. If not, it's most likely a reseller. And so you must be careful to ascertain whether you are gaining something you could not get by going straight to a language model developer. The second thing to keep in mind when surveying AI products available today is that there's quite a bit of hype. Some have likened it to crypto or a gold rush, and there's some truth in this comparison. There are many resellers on the market. Some are legitimate. For newsrooms, you have Miriam, an all-in-one website which can wrangle together many AI tools into one platform. But for every legitimate AI middleware company in existence, you've got 10 ones that offer less and charge you for more. Steering clear of them is important. The third thing to keep in mind is that language models are no longer a thing of the cloud. The computational power necessary to run them is continually diminishing. Case in point, there are now iPhone apps for running full-fledged chatbots on the go. Moreover, these models can be fine-tuned for cheap, under $100. Fine-tuning is the process by which you train a language model to mimic a text file you have on hand. For example, you might prepare a text file containing many examples of news articles written by your newsroom. Your newsroom, of course, has a particular style of writing, tone, and so on. Fine-tuning the language model gets it to mimic this style. Combining two and two, that is, being able to run a language model on a phone or laptop, combined with the low cost of fine-tuning, we find it is now possible to get a personalized language model running on your own hardware as opposed to the cloud. This improves safety because you're no longer uploading potentially sensitive information to OpenAI and Google, or Meta, or Anthropic. To have a truly private interaction with the language model, you must run it on your own hardware. While there are relatively few companies developing language models today, Meta in particular has been releasing ChatGPT-like models to the wild. This is called Llama. You can download Llama and run it on your PC today. And this worries Google. A leaked internal Google memo entitled There Is No Mode, which references the ever-shrinking gap in AI know-how between big tech and not big tech, indicates that Google and other big tech companies are slowly losing the ability to keep a so-called moat around their technology and the wider public. Language models are going open source. And that means language models are in the process of being democratized, a boon for newsrooms seeking to use the technology on their own terms. Mm -hmm.